The Battle of Palembang was a battle of the Pacific theater of World War II. It occurred near Palembang, on Sumatra, on 13 the 15th of February 1942. The Royal Dutch Shell oil refineries at nearby Pladu were the major objectives for the Empire of Japan in the Pacific War, because of an oil embargo imposed on Japan by the United States, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom after the Japanese invaded China, and committed massive atrocities such as the rape of Nanking. With the area's abundant fuel supply and airfield, Palembang offered significant potential as a military base to both the Allies and the Japanese. Chapter 1, Prelude In January, the American-British-Dutch-Australian Command decided to concentrate Allied air forces in Sumatra at two airfields near Palembang, Ponkalon Benteng, also known as P-1 and in a secret air base at Prabamule, or P-2. The British Royal Air Force created No. 225 Group at Palembang. It included two Royal Australian Air Force squadrons and a large number of Australians serving with British squadrons. The group could only muster 40 Bristol Blenheim light bombers and 35 Lockheed Hudson light bombers. The Blenheims had flown from the Middle East and Egypt, where they were considered too old to cope with newer German and Italian fighters. Number 226 Group RAF also arrived at Palembang in early February, two squadrons of Hawker Hurricanes transported to Sumatra by the aircraft carrier HMS Indomitable. They were joined by the remnants of British, Australian and Royal New Zealand Air Force Hurricane and Brewster Buffalo squadrons, which had both inflicted and suffered heavy losses in intense air battles over the Malayan and Singapore campaigns. The Royal Netherlands East Indies Army South Sumatra Island Territorial Command, its command in the Palembang area, consisted of about 2,000 troops under Lieutenant Colonel LNW Vogelessang, the South Sumatra Garrison Battalion and an Estadeswat Slash Landstorm Infantry Company in Palembang, Estadeswat Slash Landstorm Infantry Company in Jambi, as well as various artillery and machine gun units. The Royal Netherlands Navy was represented by the Minilea Pro Patria, and the patrol boats P-38 and P-40 on the Musi River. Chapter 2, Battle Chapter 2 Section 1, Airborne Attack While the Allied planes attacked the Japanese ships on 13 February, Kawasaki Ki-56 transport planes of the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Hutai, Imperial Japanese Army Air Force, dropped Tishin Shudden paratroopers over Ponkalon Benting Airfield. At the same time Mitsubishi Ki-21 bombers from the 98th Sentai dropped supplies for paratroopers. The formation was escorted by a large force of Nakajima Ki-43 fighters from the 59th and 64th Sentai. As many as 180 men from the Japanese 2nd Parachute Regiment, under Colonel Seichi Kume, dropped between Palembang and Ponkalon Benteng, and more than 90 men came down west of the refineries at Pleji. Although the Japanese paratroopers failed to capture the Ponkalon Benting airfield, they did manage to gain possession of the entire Plagi oil refinery complex undamaged. A makeshift counter-attack by landstorm troops and anti-aircraft gunners from Prabo Imoli managed to retake the complex but took heavy losses. The planned demolition failed to do any serious damage to the refinery, but the oil stores were set ablaze. Two hours after the first drop, Another 60 Japanese paratroopers were dropped near Ponkalon Benting Airfield. On 14 February, the surviving Japanese paratroopers advanced to the Musi, Salong and Tolong Rivers, near Palembang. Chapter 2 Section 2 – Amphibious Assault The main Japanese invasion force, an amphibious assault fleet under Vice Admiral Jisiburo, Ozawa of the Imperial Japanese Navy, was on its way from Kamran Bay in French Indochina. It was made up of the Imperial Japanese Army's 229th Infantry Regiment and one battalion from the 230th Infantry Regiment. A small advance party set out eight transports escorted by the light cruiser Sendai and four destroyers. The main force followed in 14 transports, escorted by the heavy cruiser Chokai and four destroyers. The covering force included the aircraft carrier Ryujo, four heavy cruisers, one light cruiser and three destroyers. 
Additional air cover was provided by land-based IJN planes and the IJAR 3rd Air Division. On the morning of 13 February, a riverboat commandeered by the British Royal Navy, HMS Lee Wo, under Lieutenant Thomas Wilkinson, ferrying personnel and equipment between Singapore and the Dutch East Indies, ran into the Japanese fleet. Although Lee Wo was armed only with a four-inch gun and two machine guns, its crew fired at the Japanese troop transport ships, setting one on fire and damaging several others, while under fire from the Japanese cruisers. This action continued for 90 minutes until the Lee Wo ran out of ammunition. Wilkinson then ordered the ramming of the nearest transport, before his ship was destroyed by Japanese fire. Wilkinson received a posthumous Victoria Cross, the highest award for gallantry in the British Commonwealth, and the only VC awarded in the Dutch East Indies campaign. On 15 February, an Abner naval force of five cruisers, HNLMS De Router, HNLMS Java and HNLMS Tromp, HMS Exeter, HMAS Hobart and ten destroyers, under Admiral Carel Dorman, made an abortive attempt to intercept the Japanese force. Planes from Ryujo and land-based aircraft made a series of attacks on the Allied ships, forcing them to withdraw to the south of Sumatra. As the Japanese landing force approached Sumatra, the remaining Allied aircraft attacked it, and the Japanese transport ship Otawa Maru was sunk. Hurricanes flew up the rivers, machine-gunning Japanese landing craft. However, on the afternoon of 15 February, all Allied aircraft were ordered to Java, where a major Japanese attack was anticipated, and the Allied air units had withdrawn from southern Sumatra by the evening of 16 February 1942. Other personnel were evacuated via Oersthaven by ships to Java or India.